everybody, welcome back. We're inside of the Pokemon League. I healed up our team as you can see here. And we're ready to take on the next guy. Is this rock type? It's hard to say. I mean... Let's do what I want to do before. Just lead with Typhlosion and use Lava Pool. The ground we walk has been shared by many who have come before us. So maybe he's a ground type. There were challenges and champions before you and I, and once we are gone, there will continue to be more. Our existence appears to be insignificant in comparison to the seemingly timeless floor beneath our feet. To be solid like the ground is to be eternal. To be solid is to change the nature of our ephemeral existence, and to do that, temporary beings like you and I must cherish the beauty of the present. Ground yourself in this moment, do not falter. Okay, Daichi. So he appears, so he appears, he appears to be <laughs> a ground type specialist. Okay, light it up. Substitute, okay, that's interesting. What's nature power? Is it earthquake? Is explosion? Are you kidding me? Oh, but Gen 2 has the... Has the... Uh, the bug that when you use an explosion on an enemy substitute, it does for whatever reason not knock your Pokémon out. Yeah, that, that was actually very interesting. <laughs> okay, so the roller coaster already began there. Also, wow, flamethrower just took it out. Okay, what else he got here? Steelix. Actually, going to stay in against that one. Liverpool lighting it up again. Yeah, actually, after I'm finished with this leak. I will probably move on to another series because I'm just getting so burned out by Pokemon I really need to play something else on camera to stay enthusiastic or at least to keep my dialogue going and not be like oh look another Pokemon another Team Rocket another gym leader just for your information what will we use against Don Fan? let's try Articuno again yeah, so it's not like I dislike this Pokemon, it's just like I've been playing like countless hours of Pokemon over the last few weeks. Like every three minutes where I don't need to work or study, like I'm just shiny hunting. So I'm looking forward to just putting down Pokemon for a while now, to be honest. Wow, okay, the burn did not quite finish it off there. Use an icy wind here. Yeah, so if you like to see more Pokemon, just be free to tell me. I love Pokemon. It's like it's like my game, you know. <laughs> it's like what I identify myself with the most, almost. Because I don't know, I don't know a lot of other people who like the games I like, except from Pokemon. Like I like Metal Gear. Before its eventual downfall, at least. I like... I like the Final Fantasies. And funnily enough, I don't know a lot of people who actually like Final Fantasy. Especially I like Final Fantasy Tactics. I thought about maybe playing Final F Fantasy Tactics next. I have... Most of the Final Fantasies I played were actually on the... DS. I have like six different Final Fantasies on the DS. Can't quite see them from here, but it's like Final Fantasy... Crystal Chronicles is like two of them. There's like 12 Revenge Wings. I think Final Fantasy 4 and Final Fantasy 3. Also got both of those there. And I think Final Fantasy A2 is also on the on the DS. Because A2 is like advanced too, right? But I think only advanced was actually on the Game Boy Advance, so Advanced 2 was actually on the DS already. 
Yeah, I love Final Fantasy. It's funny because a lot of Final Fantasy players got like initiated with like I don't know Final Fantasy 3 like really early or even Final Fantasy 1 or Final Fantasy 7. But I actually got initiated with the Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles on GameCube. And then I was just like, okay, I want to check out more Final Fantasies. And then I bought Final Fantasy... F Actually, I didn't even buy it. Like, my sister bought Final Fantasy 3. Yeah, Final Fantasy 3 on DS for me for Christmas or something like that. Oh, of course, Flygon is faster, okay. Yeah, and then I played for free, and it, it's completely different from Crystal Chronicles, of course, but I was still like, yeah, that's cool, I like that. It's a cool game. As Ground and Dragon. It just is a flamethrower here. I don't really want to use Explosion. Yeah, there comes the Earthquake. Yeah, so I played for Final Fantasy 3 and then I think went directly to Final Fantasy 4 on the DS maybe. I think I got it like super cheap, like half price in like at a at a shopping mall or something like that. Like something like Walmart, but like the German version pretty much. And what did, which Final Fantasy did I play after that one? It's a tough ask actually. I think Crisis Core maybe. It's another one of those funny things, because I never really played Final Fantasy 7. Like, not at all. And the remake is out soon. Maybe this will be my first time. So, I played Crisis Core, and I watched the Advent Children movie, I even have that one on DVD. I think I bought all of those at the same supermarket, like Final Fantasy 4, Final F like Crisis Core and the Advent Children movie, I think. I just bought them there. Now that I think about it. Yeah, so it's hilarious because I never really got exposed to the the actual Final Fantasy 7. I only know the lore like from from YouTube pretty much. And I've never seen anyone play Final Fantasy 7 where I am. Or like one of my friends at least. Like I've, one of my friends has Final Fantasy 8 and 9 I think, but I don't think he has Final Fantasy 7. Which is interesting because Final Fantasy 7 just seems to be the most beloved on... Okay, what are you? Lego guy? What, they're a challenger? I didn't see that coming. Usually people either get beaten by Sora or put to sleep by Daichi's meditation lesson. <laughs> But that's what being a trainer is all about. Expecting the unexpected and adapting to any given situation. A trainer must be able to know when to push for victory or pull back to spare your Pokemon from injury. When I was a challenger for the region champion title, I couldn't adapt to my opponent's varied and unique Pokemon. My inability to change up my strategy is ultimately what cost me the title. Let's see if you have what it takes. You won't make this easy. Mura, okay, maybe, maybe also a steel type Pokemon. Firo, okay, oh, maybe it's just like a mixed type guy. In any case, let me just put that there. <laughs> oh, okay, setting up agility. Very interesting. Also preparing a sky attack. Oh, that, that's very unfortunate actually. But I love that animation. And I flinched. He's too good. Cut him down. Before he does it again. Got else he got? Taranta, okay. See what a Gardevoir can do this. Sandstream, okay.
It's interesting because now we both can't get hit by the sandstorm. Hey, I copied your sandstream. I shouldn't really be able to be hit. Okay, I think this is a programming oversight, to be honest. It's interesting because sand veil made it so we don't get hit, but sand stream doesn't give us that property somehow. Pretty sure it does in the mainline titles, right? I'd like my HP back, please. Thank you very much. Okay, what else you got? Wheezing. Oh yeah, it's a gas type, that's right. That means we can just use one flamethrower to dispose of it. Sandstorm is a little bit annoying. Sadly, this thing has levitate, so a lava pool doesn't really do anything. I also take a little sip from my cup of green tea. Which is totally cold by now, that I'm recording like the third episode of today or something. Ludicolo. It's a water grass type. Try Articuno again. I usually don't like using legendaries a lot, but that's only because the game usually just forces them on you, I feel. Like, I've been saying earlier, but I've been playing through Ultra Moon lately, and there, right before you go to the Pokemon League, there's like Necrozma is just lying on the ground, it's like, you just click and then I think I actually caught it in a luxury ball or something funny like that. Just to match the color scheme. Nice hydro pump sound. Yeah, so they just throw them at you, but here I feel like they don't force you to encounter any legendary in the Articuno we just discovered by ourselves, so I feel like it's actually fair. My well, friend is texting me on Steam right now. I can only read hey, Roll if you're interested. <laughs> oh no, I accidentally didn't switch my Pokemon here. Gotta check that message after I'm done with this leak. I think he might just be inviting me to play a round of Age of Empires 2 or something. Oh, I want to try Nature Power here. He's still talking, I see him still sending messages. Oh, it's try attack, okay. Can I finish off a Houndoom with a fire type move? <laughs> Let's find out. Nah, okay. Please use a crunch. What I find interesting about Pokemon Prism? Why do I always say Pokemon Prism? <laughs> it's like a mixture between crystals and prisms. Pokemon Prism. Um, what I find interesting is that a lot of people have Tarantars actually. It's like the fourth trainer we encountered that actually has a Tarantar. And I feel like they could have. Okay, maybe they will after the, but they could have fleshed out. Davita's story a little bit more like where does it come from? Why does it just follow us like this? Kind of lost its personality after a while. It has a leafy on. Uh, Articuno maybe. Also this thing will totally be lit on fire, right? I wonder where the rapid spin get can get rid of lava pool actually. If it can it seems a little bit nonsensical to be honest. Sunlight is strong. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. I was like, bet this thing is going to use Solar Beam. Good thing Articuno is so resistant to grass that moves. Zoop. 
just according to plan. I'm simply amazed. You battle just like that trainer. Well, I guess that means you have what it takes to be the champion of region. Is Lance the champion, by the way? Before you enter that room, take a moment to reflect on your journey and your growth. You are no longer the person you were when you started your adventure. The trials of the Elite Four prove that you have all the qualities of a champion. You are disciplined, you are powerful, you are balanced, and you can adapt to any situation. I see. Okay, uh, hyper potions? Nobody fainted this round, that's nice. Also, I still feel like the music is very stressful and it actually makes my heart beat very fast. I will use an elixir on Typhlosion. Okay, who do we have here? Seems like Lance to me. My child! How I have missed you. When I heard about the cave in, I rushed to clear all the underground pathways to search for you. I eventually stumbled upon Professor Ilk, who had been studying the strange seismic activities within the very same case. He described to me a young trainer who had been trapped on the ultra side of the mountains that befriended a tiny lavita and started up an adventure in the region. When I discovered it was you, my heart swelled with pride. I trusted that you alone would survive and overcome whatever obstacles lay before you. I had to trust that you alone would make wise decisions without needing my guidance. Now that you've come to challenge me for my title, I will do all I can make uh, I will do all I can to make sure that you earn this honor. Bam bam bam. Yeah, bring it that. Oh god. What a start. The man himself. Cellar man. Liverpool. I think he might have a lot of flying type Pokemon. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, um right on. Also, Salamence is level 61, that's actually pretty remarkable. Yeah, it's just mercilessly dragon clawing through us here. At least we can get one rock slide off before we kiss the world goodbye here. It's not even enough to finish it off. Salamence is just such a beast. I remember the first time I like started EV training, the first Pokemon I EV trained was pretty much a Salamence. And it's like on level 100 it has like 405 attack or something like this. It's like, what the heck? <laughs> it's like actually outrageous. Okay, nice. Another outrage to do it here. Okay, what's next? Next one is Garchomp, okay. I see he's pulling from everything here, but Garchomp might get burned. There are no shen shenanigans in place here. Yeah, it's totally on fire, okay. Okay, uh, Ice Beam. Sword stance? No, son, you don't. That's actually illegal. <laughs> Please don't set up. Okay, so far so good. Articuno? Feels like it's paying off here. Charizard. Oh, I wonder what nature power is here. I'm so tempted to try it out. Try attack again, okay. It's just normal. Dragon Claw. Not that tragic so far. 
Maybe we can inflict paralysis or even a freeze on Charizard? Nope. Man, the leftovers are so good. And I have a lot of respect for Gen 2 Nature Ball. I think normally Nature Ball is a Gen 3 move, right? Oh, here comes the big boy again. Also can't burn this one because of the flying type. Now oh, cuts my attack. Could be a problem. So I'm going for Outrage, huh? Okay. Ah, dang. Okay. I wanted to paralyze it. But now it's just like... We went double there. A little bit of a waste turn. Oh, but it's fully paralyzed, that's nice. Okay, good. Our team totally outplays Lance here. Ataria. Let's see what Articuno can do here. Oh, double team, I hate that. But the ice cream hits. Nice. Okay, almost. <laughs> it just nukes me with a hyper beam. I'm going for Aerial Ace here because Aerial Ace can't miss actually. Just playing it pretty safe. Good job, Articuno. And there's Flygon. Uh, I think we had the exact same situation before. The Articuno is not faster. Also, Flygon is level 65. Just noticed the big level gap there. Levitate, okay. <laughs> That's very interesting now because Gardevoir is now immune to Dragon type moves and Ground type moves. So I'm not sure whether it can even hurt us still here. The Screech setup is a little bit scary though. It has Hyper Beam, okay. It's probably the only attack it can hit us with. It probably has Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Hyper Beam, and Screech or something like that. That's it, we totally outplayed him. This was, he was actually the easiest guy in the Elite Four, I feel. There's no one I'd rather relinquish my title to than you. You Pokemon battle in a way where they anticipate all commands you make while trusting your ability to read the battlefield. Your potential is limitless and it will continue to grow as you and your Pokemon grow all together. You think you've defeated your old man at such a young age. Let's head to the Hall of Fame room right away. There's something else you'd like to do first? Well, okay, anything for you. Oh, okay. My, what an adventure. I'm relieved that you're back safe and sound. Yeah, like, our poor mom, she was like, can you get a firewood? And then we just left her for, like, a year. Becoming the region champion, you're just like your father. Yes, Doc learned a lot on that adventure. Forgotten all about my Naljo ancestry. Just been so busy, but I need to do what I can to keep Naljo safe. The Guardians are still experiencing an unfamiliar Naljo. I don't want them to harm anyone. I know some people in region who may be able to help us. It's very noble of you. Maybe you've changed after all. Let's meet up in region when you get the chance. I'll be at the power plant. This pass will let you take the tunnel to region. Okay. Doc, just let me know when you want to visit the Hall of Fame room. But I can tell that you're not in any rush. No worries. We have all the time in the world. Okay, nice little cutscene. All the trainers who have earned the honor to be Regent's champion have been entered in this computer. Now you, my child, will immortalize yourself and the Pokemon who have fought 
by your side in the history of regions Pokemon League. Here we go. Yes. Look at this MVP. It's, <laughs> it's so good and Liverpool is also so good. Then Ampharos, I didn't really expect to use that much. And it's a bummer we never got Thunder Thunderbolt. The other one was surprisingly strong. Tarantar, actually all starter, not Typhlosion if you remember. A shiny Pokemon, Rhydon, and last but not least, our newest Pokemon, the legendary Articuno. Man, like, every time I enter the Hall of Fame it feels so good. <laughs> 191 Pokemon seen, 58 Pokemon owned. Okay. And that's the first act of Pokemon Prism. There's a lot after this. And it's such a walk of love. I really don't like all the big caverns, but thank god you can just repel your way through them. Um, it's here I will end this series, at least for now. Maybe there will be a second season where I do the rest. If you'd like to see more, let me know. If you'd like to see something else, also let me know. But for now, I'm going to say... Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, thank you for your support on the series, and yeah, that's it, bye bye!